Hi, I'm Susanna Magenheimer, also known as Random Artist 222. This is my premier project for Sean Petit's 2020 design team. I reached an epiphany this summer. I started looking for chances to prove myself, and rewards like this design team gig started happening. It made me think, hey, maybe I'm finally getting out of the bottle, which led to my theme for the piece today that I'm showing, which is the ocean, the ubiquitous bottle floating in the ocean. And that I've been bobbing, so to speak, for a long time, many years in the ocean, in the sea of opportunity, and that it's happening, it's finally starting to happen for me. And it will happen for you too. Just keep that passion alive. So one of the things that made me start thinking about the ocean was the idea of the bottle in the ocean. But then I started looking at some of Sean's um, collage packs. And this is the first one that struck me because it kind of looks like ocean waves. And then I thought, why don't I do something really different and start creating a s ocean waves, not in the traditional sense, but out of these cut flowers. And so I chose this one, I chose this one, this one, and this one. And she has many, many others that are really fabulous. But to me, these lent themselves to being more ocean-like. And then what I did is I went ahead and I fussy cut them, you know, just what part of, parts of them I wanted to use. After I fussy cut them, I put them onto my, the board I'm using, which is eight inches by 10 inches. And I did something also different from most um, other journal pieces that are out there. This is on um, a, a heavy mat board that's eight by 10, but I kept, I fell in love with this back piece. Um, it's from Die Cuts with a View. I just love the fact that there's all these stars, you know, wishing on a star, the whole component of opportunities. And I decided to use the whole piece instead of the usual tearing of different pieces to create a background, because I'm gonna do that enough right here with my idea of turning these flowers into ocean waves. So what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and um, place these the way I want. And then what I did was created a map so that I can go back now and start gluing some of these pieces down. I'm using matte medium to glue my pieces down. Okay, so as you can see here, I've glued down all the little fussy cut pieces to reflect like waves in the ocean. And this is a very whimsical abstract piece, so um, just be aware. All right, so the next part of this is the bottle. And so I am going to put this aside for a second. I'm gonna bring in my bottle here. And what I did is try to keep it legit. And I took acrylic, you can see that kind of shining in there. I took acrylic, um, an acrylic sheet and I ran it through a Sizzix die to create this bottle. And I just cut out a cork that will go in it. Okay, so this heart that I drew in, that I have in here is something that I drew and colored myself. So that's really me there. All right, now I also went ahead and as part of my opportunities in the ocean, I wanted to have something representing opportunities. So this is where I chose to use my words and I chose words like success, opportunity, talent, confidence, skill, respect, growth, and faith as those words that mean something to me about opportunities. And what I did is I cut them up into little pieces here and what I'm going to do is bring this back for a second and I'm going to just glue them randomly onto my ocean. So I was going to knock this back um, with some staining and I decided that I kind of like it the way it is right now. So it's something I can always go back and do. But what I'm going to do is glue these guys down, glue the bottle on, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see here in the close-up, I have attached uh, or just glued on the um, words that I am using to represent opportunities. And I glued down the bottle that represents me in the bottle. Um, I probably should have had the cork probably uh, out a little bit, but you get the point. So the next element I wanted to add to this comes from one of Sean's stencils. And um, just so I can show you really quick, this one's her... Um, boats and birds stencils, and I just love how organic her birds look. Um, this one that I may be using too is Finding Your True North. 
Um, this one's called Mediterranean Blue, and I'm actually, because this is so abstract and whimsical, I might be using this to represent some clouds. And then I am toying with the idea of her, um, the circle stencil she has here, mandalas, I should say, um, and also from her collage pack kits, um, these clocks. I'm trying to debate if I want to make that the moon or this the moon. So that's one of those going to be one of those last minute choices. So what I want to show first is is this because I have the I have the bottle and I thought it'd be kind of cool to have a boat in the photo or in the project as well. And I like the shape of this one. So I'm going to move this aside get this out and this is also from one of her um, collage packs um, she has a bunch she has a bunches of them so a lot of um, kind of vintagey kind of stuff too so what I'm gonna do is gonna put this on here kind of where I want to have more of the words show on the, the sails okay so I'm always trying to find alternate uses for things like this is a stencil and normally you would pounce ink or paint or do something like that through it. But I thought, why not use the shape and create like your own die cut. So there, I have the two sails and the, the bottom of the boat, which is all I want for my project. So that's done, but I'm gonna be using these seagulls in my project too. Um, so I'm gonna cut that out and I'm also going to do something right now with this because I thought it'd be kind of cool as this boat is floating in the ocean to have some of these moths um, coming up through the background just kind of surrounding the boat. But I obviously don't want it so white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some golden acrylic glazing liquid satin. It, the glazing medium allows you to create a transparency with paint so I applied the glazing medium right here, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the fluorescent yellow paint. And this is a glouch. Glosh, glouch. And let me just check here. Oh, you know what? That's actually pretty translucent on its own. Glouch is kind of like watercolor and, um, yeah, that'll work. Glouch is like watercolor, a cross between watercolor and um, an acrylic. Okay, so basically what I did with this is I cut, I showed you how I traced it out of the stencil. Um, I cut it up and then what I did was glue down the sail to where the moths were mostly on the paper. And then I just tore, you know, glued it together and then just tore the whole thing that I wanted. I wanted to make sure I had more moths because that's the whole point of it is like, you know, moths to a flame, to a goal, to um, to what I was thinking about. So that's done. So my idea is this boat is floating over here on this side of the, the piece. And then that's there. I think I need to make that a little darker. Okay, so I went ahead and glued this down and you can see the glow of the moths. In the background, I decided to call the boat the USS Goals. It kind of ties into everything. And when you're creating, you know, things evolve. I had this complete idea of how I wanted to maybe mobilize this piece and it's changing as I do. And I decided instead of going with the Mandela for the moon, to go with a clock from her um, collage pack kit because it symbolizes Time. Time's always ticking. You know, you have goals, you want to achieve goals, and um, it may take time, but you'll you'll achieve them. So just remember that. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Okay, so I was using Delicata ink, and I decided to go with a pigment ink because the white wasn't showing quite white enough for me. So the thing with pigment ink is it takes a long time to dry, so I usually don't use pigment inks in my art, but... For this effect, it plays in very nicely. This is Cosmic Shimmer fluffy stuff, and it gives you a puff that's really fun to work with. And I want it to like resemble like ocean waves. 
I'm not going to put very much, but I'm going to get it as close to this boat as I can. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I take a heat gun. So as you can see here, it's now dimensional. So you don't want to, um, when you're heat setting pigment ink, don't go over the plastic because it'll start to shrink. You don't want that. And uh, finally, I was thinking about using this and putting um, one of our compasses right here, but I think that's gonna be too much. So I think what I'm gonna do instead It just creates some illusion with the clouds. Or since everything's so whimsical, I think I can make the clouds work with this. This is the Mediterranean Duo. And again, I'm using the registration marks here to tell me what the top of the stencil is. I'm gonna use chalk paste, dusty plum. Okay, so I just want the illusion of some clouds coming in. So I am going to Start it about here, okay? And the way I'm gonna play this is, this is gonna be my lead cloud. And I put a little stamp here just to give me some balance out here so the lip's not hanging off. So I'm using just a little pouncer. And I'm gonna just do it like that. Like the clouds are coming in from the on the other side. I'm going to keep them a little loose because that's how clouds are. So now what I'm going to do is put some final shadow highlights using um, a charcoal pencil and I'll be back and show you what the final result looks like. So now that I finished it, um, I like to do this actually on the sofa versus on my desk here. I can take my time with it and look and see what I want. So I basically use a general charcoal 6B to create shadows everywhere that I can see. I'm not somebody who's really concerned about light source. It's just the way it looks good to me. So I put some under the clouds to give some kind of balance to the clouds. And then after that, um, I put it underneath the lettering to make the lettering pop uh, around the edges. I also used a Jelly Roll 08 pen, pen to create some white highlights on the boat, let the ocean or the sea foam, if you can get up close there, the sea foam, um, show a little bit more onto the boat and onto the sails. Um, and then I went ahead and this was a last minute ad and I used these gelatos, they're called the iridescence. You can see those pink highlights underneath the clouds. To me, they're the light reflecting off the ocean. And so I wanted to capture, I wanted to capture that. Um, and give my clouds some more dimension. And my weapon of choice when I shadow is um, this. It's a very sharp Q-tip. It's not sharp right now, but they're super sharp Q-tips. You can pick them up anywhere. Um, and they are really good for getting in tight. I hope you liked this. I hope it inspired you. Sean, thank you so much for the opportunity. And remember, if you were inspired, subscribe and like. Thank you and have a great day.